So, Timmy, do you want to explain your new character? Oh, sure. Okay. Uh, he is a liberator of Milani. Uh, his ancestry is Kyle, mm. also known as Fetchling. His Fetchling, mm. yep. And uh, he's got some other sneaky stuff that ha- hasn't come up yet. Okay. Uh, but a liberator is focused on freeing the oppressed uh, f- uh, against tyranny, and that out that lines up a hundred percent with the tenets of Milani. Yep. So yeah, he's just uh, he's here to he's here to get some get some revenge, take out some to take out some oppressors. So uh, you so you made a champion. I made a champion. So yes. with how much I cannot hit Benson, well, well, why why did you do that to me? Um, I just thought that uh, I was tired personal, of being personal, squished. Personal vendetta against me? I was tired. I was tired of being squished. Yeah. Now there's two characters in the party that you can't crit. I know. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and have a lot of health. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All I'm saying is uh, I am personally. I, I, I've been personally victimized by your choice of making a second. That is champion. correct. That was the intent. I'm glad it came across across loud and clear. <laughs> Well, like a bright neon flag. I get what you're saying, but uh, I do, I do like your character. I think he's very cool. I, oh, just, I just, I just don't want him with Benson. Uh, out of curiosity, what's your max health? Right. Oh, it's, I don't think it's as big as yours. I didn't put as much into con. It's one sixteen. Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> but is yours like one forty or something? One thirty four. Yeah. Yeah, pretty close. <laughs> could have, could my have AC, easily rounded up. My AC, if I cast uh, shield, is thirty three. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I if, if I raise my shield, I get to thirty two. Okay. Uh, I, so our, our AC is basically the same. Yeah, except the action economy for my character, just because of all my uh, like abilities and kind of uh, feats that I took, it works out that I don't uh, raise my shield as often as I should. Um, Benson's literally built around the shield. Yeah, yeah, yeah and so. if I stand next to it, I get a plus two anyways. So. Yep. Plus three. Plus three? Yeah, I think plus so. Three, yeah. <clears throat> Holy crap. Oh. Or maybe it's only a plus two. I, I don't if check. it's a plus three, then my AC is <laughs> higher than yours. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think it's plus three. No, no it's two. No, that's just two. You don't have a paladin aura around you? I don't think so. No, he's selfish. <laughs> no aura. Yeah, what a yeah. selfish liberator. Classic <laughs> selfish liberator. Type. Classic <laughs> selfish liberator. I only free the oppressed with the clout. <laughs> oh my gosh! Um, he makes sure he has a smart. We're gonna have to. Him. We're gonna have to really invest in some I, health potions. I, I'm a performative ally. <laughs> I say I'm on your like, side. Like every Instagram, model. but boots boots to ground. I'm not there. <laughs> well, so I uh, I really really uh, like your character. We will definitely uh, get get into it. Uh, I do I do want to I do want to go around and say, uh, did you expect uh, Hubert to give up? Um, do, do, do you expect him to throw his weapon down and put his hands up? I feel like I kind of did. Yeah. Yeah. Just because he's just a fast, smooth, talking... Yeah. He's a smart man. He's, 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 he's his, his His hair is just probably dripping with product, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. His his very receding hairline, actually. <laughs> he's, a lot of mustache wax. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> mustache yeah. wax. I mean, he, he's a Dapper Dan man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it didn't seem like... It seemed like a, Kezra was giving him the hint that it's over. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I have a feeling like he's definitely one of those like, uh, maybe I can squeak out an exit somewhere. Like He I tried. Just, yeah. He tried really hard. But I mean, it, like, that's what he's saying. He's like, well, I'll die if I stay in this room. But if I manage to get outside, if they are leading me, I can maybe squeak yeah, away. I, that's I, what he's probably going to try to do. Right. Like, um, put him in a jail. He's going to be gone. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's a. Uh, I, I was a. Uh, we were talking about this during during the break, but, uh, but uh, after last episode. But uh, yeah, the the entire combat uh, did not does not plan for for you guys to do it the way you did it. But that's pretty much what your guys' mo anyway. <laughs> right. uh, but yeah, the, the the entire combat was supposed to be like you deal with the trap first, and then you go in the room because after the trap stops, they they just clean up. Quote. Well, we're a lot dumber than the book. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> Um, we let the trap just continue to murder us. <laughs> but, the book but, assumes a certain <laughs> level of intelligence, right? Well, we, but the thing you did do well, uh, which I, I even gave you a hair point, Kelly, was uh, uh, you, you guys you you stopped the trap, and then uh, well, I give you a hair point for that. But and then you let Adelar die, and then I let Adelar die. <laughs> yeah. uh, but 
but you, you said th- hold on. You throw in. The, you, <laughs> I did tell you not to die. <laughs> I in you, in my you defense, not. fair point. <laughs> I just simply told fair you not point. to I, die. I, uh, I tried everything, and I'm out of ideas. You needed to last six more seconds, and you couldn't even do that, Adelar. <laughs> nope. I lasted twelve. That was the max. Um, but <laughs> die. what Kelly did do was he throw in the flame drake in the room. Totally yeah. changed. Totally changed oh, that yeah. combat because oh, yeah. the in the book what it says is that when either two of the sneaks die. Uh, or Hubert gets to like half health. Uh, he tells the sneak that's holding on to Fadalby to just stab him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because at least they could take someone out as right. like spite. Uh, but that did not happen. Uh, there was a flame drake, so that guy <laughs> had to ditch that plan. Yeah, uh, yeah so Fadalby's still alive. Uh, so, so you, you guys did do something, and now, and now Hubert is uh, has this has his hands up, and he, he's he's ready for, ready for you to take him in. So let's pick up right there where Hubert drops the mace, puts his hands up, and he goes. All right, son. You called me. Now, you can take me in. We can go through the trial as normal. I know how these things work. I have been in these situations before. So let's just get this on and over with, huh? So uh, this character, he kicks away his mace. And uh, he actually starts patting him down for any other concealed weapons or any of that sort. Because uh, he doesn't want any funny business. Yep, so, uh, he had a spell book on him, right? He did have yeah. a spell yeah, book. Yeah, Kedra rips that off of his belt. Yeah. <laughs> now, be very careful with that. My, my handwriting is impeccable. Uh, so he has a, uh, he has a regular dagger. Um, he, has the, he has manacles on him that are marked with the symbol of the Scarlet Triad, which you now know. Uh, a key to the manacles. Um, he also has thieves tools in parentheses infiltrator oh mm. the infiltrator yep you get an extra plus one I believe yeah. yep the uh, I'll, I'll just say this one because I really like this item uh, you need thieves tools to pick locks or disable devices of sometimes using the thievery skill infiltrator thieves tools add a plus one item bonus to checks to pick locks and disable devices um, so yeah just a little bit little bit better hmm. um, yeah so like he he, um, he finds the manacles on him he puts him down, and he just smashes them. Uh, now, those were well made. That was uh, rude. I think this whole time, like, uh, Elk's, like, not doing well, but he stumbles over to where his sword was, like, in the corner. <laughs> like, because he had to drop it yeah. when yep. he got mantles. But then, like, picks it up and, like, just stares at Hallberg and just starts approaching him. As he just looks at Kezra, he's like, where's Adelar? Because he has not seen Adelar. Yeah, neither is Benson. Kezra, Adelar. Kezra just walks out of the room, and if you guys look out there, he's slumped over Adelar's body, and he's just Shit. Breathing, breathing heavily. And because he, he will kill this guy, and he just approaches him and goes to like, like it, kind of like a weakly thing of gripping a sword and is about to just try to decapitate him. Yeah. So my character kind of precedes this. And he's like, back off. This is my quarry. I don't care your business with him. Tend what, to your dead. What's your Let name? me tend to him. What's your name? My name is Grimshaw. First of my name. It seems like this battle has cost you much. This fight has cost me even more. Go. And he just uh, kind of lets you, clears the way so you guys can... Uh, exit the room and it's just kind of had it has his mace threaten threateningly pointed at Hubert and he's like you make one false move and I won't you know, I won't make you won't make another one yeah yeah I, I, I understand son I understand son just take me down to the to the to the barracks and we we can sort all this out <laughs> no no bring him to the citadel we'll take care of him there Right, right, right. The local government should see to this. I, I completely understand. You know, yeah, that's a good idea. Take me there, and let, let's handle it all over on that side. The Citadel is my jurisdiction, friend, not the local government. Oh, oh but you are, you are a, a, a man of authority here, so, so, so clearly you, you, are, you are, are, are working for the local government. Are you not, Mauricio? No. Uh, Do you well, not he, know who this man is? Uh, he, he wears the cloak of House Black. You're under his jurisdiction. Uh, I, this I, town I, has I, nothing to do with you. No, no, no. I, I do believe that, that we are in uh, a, a, a private space here within the town wall, so I believe that this falls under the dist- jurisdiction of the town guard of Breach Hill. Either knock him out or shove something in his mouth. Okay. Yeah. And, <laughs> Grim, uh, my character, Grimshaw, that you know his name, yeah. he just he just 
knocks him out. Clunk. Oh, heavens. <laughs> <laughs> he can still talk and he's knocked out. <laughs> I'll have to fake this. Um, Benson will just reach down and pick up um, Adelar. <clears throat> and um, just, I'm so sorry. And he just kind of starts walking out with him. We need to take him back to his father. We'll get to the Citadel. We'll deal with it. He looks like a fat, a fat will be. He was like, e- e- you guys got any uh, uh, healing potions, man? <laughs> uh, Grimshaw just, reaches, just, out just his, his chest. reaches out his hand, uh, casting on hands, and restores him. Oh, man, that's great. Hey, you mind, you mind help, help me fix up this place? No. 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 Oh, okay, all right. We'll send the authorities <laughs> when they get here. How many times do we have to knock him out? <laughs> <laughs> when they get here, these three were the ones who attacked you. This man didn't exist. Uh... Uh, all right, man. W- 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 whatever. They'll help you clean up. We're not janitors. <laughs> <laughs> Just looked at the three mangled corpses. <laughs> Just, oh, oh God! <laughs> the scorched barrels from the Drake. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Grimshaw just looks at Fatalby. Do you know who that man is? That's the man who wears the cloak of House Black. <laughs> <laughs> I subclassed in hype, man. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I was I was there on the day, you know, the, a month ago. He was he was he was one of the heroes. He he, he helped put out the fire. Exactly. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know what you're talking about? But yeah, it makes sense. Lately, looking at the scorch marks around his shaft, just, yep. <laughs> Grimshaw, I think you can accompany us to our citadel if you would like. I would like to hear more about your involvement with this gentleman. As he gestures to the. Knocked out. Southern man. I've been tracking him for a long time. We have cells at the Citadel. We can hold him in while we, think, while we deal with what we're going to do. I, I advise you come. All right. <laughs> Elk will sit down and he's like, I... I do need healing. <laughs> and, uh, I'm not Shottis doing reaches well. out his hand. <laughs> I, I'm at 19 of 125, so... Let's go... Pick up Adler's hand and like touch it to yourself. Like, please, poison is working. Please, <laughs> he needs his glasses. <laughs> he can't see without his glasses. I right, see. So you pick up the lifeless body of Adler and the unconscious body of Heber. Um When you walk out, uh, there is a small crowd of people, five or six. I don't know if it's a crowd group of people. I thought it was nighttime. Uh, yes, and there was a humongous commotion happening. Oh yeah, in this there was building. the dragon was really quiet, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the roaring dragon, <laughs> the dragon was screaming <laughs> people. Next time you summon him, summon him with a suppressor. <laughs> <laughs> Two suppressor suppressor muscles in his nose. Uh, yeah, so there's a crowd of people. And they're just like, oh, God. oh, there's, oh, there's, what happened when there? There was what's, monsters in there or something, and one of them. He sees Hubert, and they have no idea who that guy is. They're like, oh, the guy. He was, yeah, he was. And then you see Adelor. They're like, oh, Adelor, is he okay? They're like calling out to you guys. Um, I think Benson probably just. Uh, I guess Benson will get, get like somewhere where he can't easily be seen. And um, he will wrap Adelar in his family's cloak. And uh, place him on one of our horses. So, yeah, there's a quiet mullings and hubbub. People from the from these few people. Uh, it is still nighttime, and everyone's yeah. mostly asleep. It's just that you you know people are going to be talking about it now. Yeah, yeah. Kezra just says one. Go get the god. Uh-huh. Oh. Don't need help in there. He runs about fifteen fifteen feet up the street, and guards guard, guards coming by. He's yeah. like. Yeah. Guard, guard. Guy comes, uh, card, guard comes walking back. Is what, what, what's going on here? Which Man. guard? Uh, uh, Jerry. Oh, is that the guy that got stabbed in the dick? No, <laughs> okay. no, he's on, he's on uh, sabbatical for uh, forever. Yeah. What's this guard's name? <laughs> Jerry. Jerry. No. Hey, Jerry. Um, he's a Jerry. <laughs> there was an attempted uh, kidnapping, and there was a fight. And- Everything's in there is dead now. We are taking uh, this man back to his home. Oh, uh, the, the, good. We're, we're, we'll get someone to, to, uh, to clean up here. Uh, I'm talking about Hubert? No, I'm talking about you. Yeah. Yeah. Talk uh, about you, Tim. 
<laughs> uh, Grimshaw has to stab him in the back. I think it asks about. I think it asks about Hubert. Uh, well, did, uh, did you get you carried him up separately? I thought because it, you you were taking mm-hmm. him directly dir- directly to the citadel. I thought so. Yeah, yeah we're basically it, strapping them both to the horses. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, so yeah, the, uh, the 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 guards do begin asking questions of just like the uh, who's that? Who are these bodies? Blah blah blah. Um. Well, uh, slavers. Slavers in this town in Breachill. We'll inform the we'll inform the town council when we know more. For now, he is under our jurisdiction. We're taking him into custody. Uh, now, now hold, hold, hold on. If there are slavers within the town walls, then they, this must go to the council. Then take it to the council. Yes. No. But, I, but I, get I, out of our way. I, I trust you'll stay here. No, we are going back to the citadel. The uh, council is free to come at any point to our citadel. Uh, you, you should stay here, but I, I cannot stop you. Well, he was a breach hill after all, but he, he should answer to, to, to the town council. Do you know who this man is? <laughs> <laughs> he wears the cloak of House Black. <laughs> no, sorry, this guy was... What was his name? Uh, 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 Hubert Throp. No, no, the guard. Jerry. Oh, Jerry. <laughs> Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> Jerry. I'll do respect, Jerry. <laughs> Benson, how's it been, man? We, we, we haven't seen you at work in a while. Yeah, I'll do respect. You already lost one prisoner I got for you guys, so we're going to keep this one. <laughs> <laughs> now, to, uh, to, to be fair, I, I was not working that day, so uh, it's, it's not my fault. Yeah, but you know what? Better safe <laughs> than sorry. But we're, we're still friends, right? Yep, yep. <laughs> uh... How's your why husband? <laughs> they're they're both great. <laughs> Damn, Jerry, Sorry. there are some bodies in there to clean up. <laughs> Get out of our way! You know, you reminded me so much of my throuple. I need to go home. I'll be back. Uh, he goes. <laughs> Jerry goes home to his, to his throuple. Uh, <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> you reminded me. I wanted to go have sex with my wife and husband. <laughs> Damn, Jerry. I feel like now is the appropriate time to do that. <laughs> it is nighttime. This is too much work. Don't dare. I'm jealous of the man's inner peace. <laughs> you know, Jerry isn't very good at being a god. God damn, he can sling some pipe. <laughs> He's an excellent lover. <laughs> He just, he just mentioned his relationships and he just has to go drop what he's doing. <laughs> he's really got his priorities straight. Jerry, that old horn dog. <laughs> He walks away, and Marvin Gaye just starts playing in the background. <laughs> yeah. It's no wonder this guy Jerry. tried to infiltrate this place. <laughs> Jerry, his husband, Jerry, his wife, Jerry. That's, that's how they met, you know, a Jerry convention. Yep. <laughs> Jerry Con, it's right after the Jeff Con. Celebrity the, name is Jerry Con. In Keith. the apartment next door, we see a light go on upstairs, and we start hearing squeaking sounds of a bed. <laughs> just bang, bang, bang. <laughs> All three voices. Somebody's putting together a bed frame up there. <laughs> all three voices are the same. <laughs> all somebody's the, all the Jerry's. <laughs> sounds like somebody's slurping up some nutritious honey up there. Uh, oh my! Oh my lips hurt. <laughs> there was a murder. <laughs> Go get another guard. Not a Jerry. <laughs> Jerry. Jerry walks in. Walks into the storeroom. There's either a horrible murder or some really nice sex in here. <laughs> it's going really hard. <laughs> <laughs> Neighbors are like, you guys are making mac and cheese all night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a nice sound effect. <gasps> oh, I inhaled some bloody mac. <laughs> I hope that was good. Oh my god. Alright, we leave. <laughs> <laughs> you leave. And see. And see. Yeah. And we take out a large corpse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, in this case, I'm still looking for healing. So. Oh, um, I did. No, we, he gave you. How much healing. did you heal? 30. Oh, shit. Bad. <laughs> yeah. At a who? Your eye probably hurts a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's no, like a... it's still Adelar because Adelar was dropping like 50, 60 points yeah, yeah. of healing. <laughs> yeah, so he's he's doing it a little bit better, still below half, but doesn't nearly walk with a limp. You guys make your uh, long trek back uh, to Citadel Alterine. Uh, is it the, the two hours? It, it remember it's like a two-hour trip. Yeah, uh, he just keeps knocking Huber unconscious <laughs> every time he wakes up. Man's gonna have 
horrible brain damage by the time he gets back. <laughs> it's not going to matter because he'll be dead. <laughs> uh, all right, you guys uh, get back uh, with the bodies of Hubert and Adelar. Um, what do you guys do? Uh, I'm gonna. You guys can make a plan before you walk in because you are all the, well aware that Aleph, Adelar's father, is in there. We in, fa- in fact, from outside, you hear the hammers, uh, hammer and sawing of woodworking. I'll tell him. I'll take him. I'll take Adelar to his, his room. And, yeah, Benson just p- pulls him off the horse. Um, and Benson before, is... Go- before we go in, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't get all your names. It's been a... We didn't talk that whole two hours for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, you clearly don't know who I am. You are Benson. <laughs> Have you the seen one who me? wears the cloak? <laughs> this cloak? He oh. just knows the cloak, not the man in the cloak. <laughs> yeah. I've always wanted to know the man behind the cloak. And he pulls out a, a manuscript. I've been uh, working on this now. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Benson. <laughs> um, it's nice to meet you. Your reputation precedes you. Yes, uh, I'm the fifth of my name. Um, I am going to be busy for the rest of the night. Um, Understood. And actually, because we had a chapel built, right? Uh, I think that was commissioned. Uh, that was that was in the works. Yeah. So it takes like thirty days. Yeah, yeah. a lot. Well, a lot still, I um, hold on. <coughs> Got some blade Mary stuck in my throat there. <laughs> um, I still take him to that, and I lay him on the ground, and Benson does what would be traditionally done here as a knight. Um, he's going to hold vigil over Adelard's body for the rest of the night. So, uh, yeah, like I said, you guys are outside. Um, oh, he asks our names. Well, yeah, yeah, oh, we, yeah, he needs to. I'm, I'm, Excuse me, God. I, uh, I need to know their names. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. Uh, so, curious uh, for his name, because I would have ever heard uh, Scrimshaw. Grimshaw. Ah, Grimshaw. Uh, is there a check I could do on that? Um, you couldn't do a check society. on, um... Yeah, it would, it would generally be, be society. You could actually do a lore underworld, underworld on me. <laughs> yeah, actually. Hey. Um, either that, you could do a lore re- uh, religion check on my... No. Uh, no. no. <laughs> okay, that ain't bad. Uh, 14 on so that's a 28 for underworld. Okay, so... <clears throat> Um, you have uh, maybe you've heard these whispers in, in the sense of um, of someone who thwarts uh, criminal activity. Mm. Um, you know that uh, whenever he was mentioned, he was typically mentioned in connection with the previously Chalaxian territory of Contargo. Okay, so it's kind of like for a moment. He uh, thinks about it, and he's just like, kind of like analyzing you, squinting as like, kind of like, I mean, because he's still hurting badly. Yeah, but he's just kind of like, Grimshaw. Okay, I'm uh, Elkwood, the ranger of this party. Nice to meet your equation acquaintance. Nice to meet you as well. Thank you for stepping in uh, during our um, timely. Demise. He's kind of like uh, fairly out of it mm. at this point. Like he's kind of like, hey, let's do introductions after your uh, friend died. But you know, yeah. <laughs> just uh, I got a I got a tip that the Scarlet Triad was in this area, but uh, looks like it came a little late. My apologies. Mm. Yes. these things happen in this line of work. Yeah, uh, they do indeed. My yeah. number used to be four strong. But now it is just me. Oh, that's unfortunate to hear. Apologies for that. Thank I'm, you. I'm going to go. Uh, I, sorry, I'm not good at this. And he just kind of walks off into the woods. Mm. Actually, <laughs> like he, he's not doing well mentally because he also is looking for uh, Vimir, and he doesn't see Vimir right mm. now. My name's Kezra. This was my friend. Our friend Adelar, a priest of Abadar. Whatever you know about the Scarlet Triad, we would like to know as well. Tonight, t- 
tonight, you may use a room in the Citadel. Get some rest. We'll deal with him in the morning. For now, I have to go tell his father. I don't mean to be insensitive, but we need to set up a watch on this one. Any motions to Hubert? That's fine. You're free to watch him if you want. We can bind. He can be bound so we can't can't cast spells. In the morning, he won't have a spell book, so he's not going to be very useful at that point. Uh, I feel like Benson's like carrying Adelarian, and you just hear from him. Be a sure shot, just cutting his tongue out. <laughs> ben will know nothing, and he's as good as dead to us. We need him for leads. And Benson goes in. I guess, uh, just give me some vague directions. I'm sure I can find uh, the cells you speak of. Just go find a kobold. Ask them where the cells are. They'll find. They'll tell you. Doesn't matter what point. It doesn't matter. Which, it doesn't, matter it doesn't matter which one. Just follow the commotion. Don't oh. don't ask a goblin. Uh, all right. You see a goblin? Just ignore, ignore them. <laughs> all right. I gotta I gotta roll a. I gotta flip a coin here. <laughs> uh, so do, doing a a one d two. One is Hazel. You find Hazel. Okay. <laughs> the two is you find Pippin's Oh no. Uh, nice catch, Rob. Oh, he said a coin, actually. Yeah, yeah. A coin. Uh, oh, do you, yeah, do you, you want to flip it? Uh, oh. Yeah, this is my Pathfinder 2nd Edition I remember those. Coin. Yep. Yep. So, uh, Not on the, computer. the P for Pippin Zarf, mm-hmm. and the tails for Hazel. Mm-hmm. Please, Hazel. Please, please, Hazel. Please, Hazel. Pippin Zarf. No! I mean, you do have double the chance of finding one of them, so... Uh, you... Go, you walk in. I follow the commotion. Yeah, you you, fo- you follow the commotion, and you see two kobolds uh, trying to uh, trying to get a rat out from uh, from behind a dresser. Like, get it! No, you go around that time. No, no, you get it. No, you get it. And you see like a spell go off as when <laughs> one of them casts a spell at the rat under the dresser, <laughs> and they both look up from from, uh, from the flash as they like illuminate you in the doorway. And they're like intruder, and they no, come running I, at you. I, uh... <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm here on official business. From who? Uh, uh, Kezra. I think it was his name. You think it was his name? <laughs> I know it was his name. <laughs> What's his full name? Indraconic. Uh, <laughs> he didn't tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap! That's like the password. <laughs> right? uh, I, don't think I want see. to get into Castle Castle Kezra Deverjon. What's the password? Kezra Deverjon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. His name's Kezra? Oh, damn it. Uh, so he's going to roll a uh, deception. Okay. And. and uh, okay, it's not bad. And he's going to say. Um, the authority of Kezra supersedes your request for a password he sent me and you have to show me where the cells is so I can take care of this intruder and he motions to Hubert and he got it 30 for deception yeah. we'll, we'll find Kezra and we'll ask him and he's gonna say no <laughs> alright they go running down the hall Kezra! they're gonna have a heartfelt moment with Kezra and Natalor's father and then these two are just gonna burst in <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm just wandering the citadel trying to find the cells <laughs> Kezra! What? Guys, there was a strange man. Yeah, I sent him to you. Stop wasting my time. Sorry. Show him where the cells are, damn it. Sorry. Run off a trail of pee. And we really run a tight ship. <laughs> Just yelling at each other. Yep. So Kezra follows the, the, the sounds of hammers to uh, wherever Adelar's dad is. Uh, so, uh, the library. Yes, the library. Oh, uh, so working, he working hard into the night. He's, yep. So he's he, building a, a bookshelf. He's building a, building a building a, a bookshelf right now. Uh, so you go into um, so the old library was the very very uh, long room. Um, it was sort of like northwest ish. Yep. Um, and so he uh, he's actually uh, because it's a very tight room. The room there, what he's doing is he's working in the room directly south because nothing's in there yet. So he just kind of took over that room and he's uh, he's just uh, uh, cutting up wood and using his saws and hammers and everything like that. So uh, he uh, he's just just hammering away with a with a, a, a wooden mallet when you when you walk in. What was his name again? Aleph. 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 Kezra walks in 
knocks on the desk next to the ta- next to the door to get his attention. Oh, oh. hey. I I have something to tell you. Uh, you know, okay, Kaiser. What, what what is it? You might want to sit down. He sits on the chair directly below. We were we were following a lead. We got a note inquiring for us to take a job. It seemed fishy, but the four of us agreed. It's something that we should look into. And there was also threat of threat of life in the in the note. When we got there. We ran into a group, a sinister group of slavers. They tried to proposition us to join them, and we refused. A fight ensued. They had a trap ready for us. And while the slavers have been taken care of, we even have their leader captive. He just looks down. Adelar fell during the fight he's gone he's just staring at you what do you, you you're lying what sort of sick trick is this Kezra it's no trick Adelaide has gone he fell right next to me he's like angry at you because he kind of believes you and he's like show me then show me Benson took his body to his room no, in the chapel. Well, the soon-to-be chapel. Benson has his body. We can go find him. He pushes you aside, walks out. Kazar just follows him. Um, on a slab of stone that I imagine will eventually be the altar, he has just laid his body out, uncovered Adelar's face, but he is still wrapped in the cloak of house black and Benson has a sword out standing in a sentry position before the body so he comes running through the door tears already welling up and he sees the body there and he just goes no no what have you done he looks at Benson and looks at Kezra as you're the only two there and he's like both of you were supposed to protect him he runs over and grabs Adelar's body and like cradles his head and he's like no no He's just screaming and crying, and he goes, This is my fault. I brought the note. I should have just kept it. Just left those bastards to do whatever they wanted to do. And he's just weeping over the body of his son. This is an opportunity. I had a chance to make it up to him. But now he's dead. He's dead because of you. He's dead because of me. We couldn't do anything. And he's just falling over this yeah Benson doesn't say anything he he knows he needs to let him grieve but he will not uh, let them be unprotected in this moment of loss and he knows he failed yeah Kezra he, Benson like looks at him he, he he like looks like he wants to say something but there's like no words are coming out and you just see he, he just has a look of just sorrow and dread you've never seen on it before and he looks like he wants to go console a uh, uh, left but instead he just turns he does a, like a double take and oh, he leaves before you leave he goes um Gezra and he reaches into his pocket and holds something out to you he takes it it's Adler's symbol I could have saved him so could I. He didn't have to die. No. No, he didn't. Aleph, if... If it's okay with you, I would like to... I'd like to spend the rest of the night preparing a, a funeral pyre. No. You keep your hands off him. You've done enough. What did you even do? I failed him, but he deserves a proper burial, the way Apatar would lo- would want. Like you knew anything about that. I know he cared for you for some reason. 
Just leave me be. I knew him longer than you did. I might have messed up, perhaps more than you, but I was father, damn it. Kezra leaves, and he he's gonna he spends the next several hours gathering materials for a pyre. Um, he doesn't know if he's gonna be, be able to use them. He doesn't know what Aleph's gonna gonna let, but he he feels it's right to start preparing burial burial rites. Uh, at a certain point, you see uh, you hear somebody walk into the hall uh, very sternly, and you see Aleph is walking down the hall out the citadel and he gets on a horse and you just see him going to, going to Breach Hill yeah because yeah, doesn't stop him well Benson will spend the entire night at vigil the throughout the night um Hazel at uh at some point comes to you and she has she has like a list it looks like a shopping list I had the commotion earlier. I hope everything's okay. Um, I was hoping if I to get some gold tomorrow to get some more supplies. Uh, uh, more alchemy supplies if you're interested. Whatever you need. Adelar fell, fell last night. The, the priest? Yes. He's gone. He's... Mission went bad. We were... Who were ambushed. And he... He didn't make it. But uh, he, it, whatever... Whatever gold you need, yes. Uh, here. I, no, but... I, please, I will make do without. I, I was unaware. It was terribly insensitive of me. I've, I've had many... Thorns here die, and each one was hard. I couldn't imagine... How you're feeling... And the friendship you once had with him... If you if you need me to make anything, I I can make strong drink. I'll pass for now, but thank you. Right now, I I am just waiting for his father to return. As she, she turns and walks away, and it's just like <laughs> awkward. <laughs> Came to you to be like, hey, here's a. Shopping list. Here's a shopping list. <laughs> Give me gold. <laughs> My friend is dead. Oh God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um. Anything else you guys want to do in the night? Uh, everyone is pretty much asleep. Uh, the the two kobolds are constantly. <laughs> Gr- so where are you? <laughs> I'm in. I'm in the. I'm in wherever the cells are. Okay. Just stand and watch. Uh, so, uh, hour later or so. Uh, Huberk is what uh, manacled up in one of the cells. Mm-hmm. Uh, Those two, okay, yeah. and he's uh, he's he's in one of those. Where are you in the uh, in the citadel? Hmm? Uh, yeah, they're in, in the in in the in the cell block. I mean, oh, I mean, I'm the, right, me... right in front okay. of it, just looking at him. Let me let me pull you guys over to it actually, because we can do that. Uh... Yeah, that's the uh, top left, I believe, right. Yep, yep, it was in the uh, most northwest room, actually. Um, hey, where we fought all the skeletons. Yep. Ah, the skeleton, the skeleton blender. blender. Ah, the skeleton blender. Oh, good times. Uh, yeah, so it is way up there. Oh, it's actually just past the library, so. If you would be so kind, where were you planning on having this uh, cathedral? Or temple? So there, there was the Court of the Nail, which is here. I'm this this was This was the... Like ca- chapel, yeah. So that is that the, was going to be was okay. that converted to the being converted to the uh, Um, uh, I thought you were making a temple. I think I was. I thought I was just making like a library kind of thing. Mine this, was going to be like dual purpose. This was my room, okay, for my area. Got you. I think I was taking like uh, this area. It's like towards the top left of the citadel. Um, Wherever you considered your space is where I will have you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yep, so uh, let's go back with... All right, so Grimshaw, you're up here in the uh, most, most northwest area, which yep. is the, uh, the cell block. Uh, there, there was a desk in there, but it, is, uh, it was obviously very broken even when you guys found it. Right. So, um, so he's in one of the cells there. 
And Hubert wakes up at some point. <coughs> oh, it was the best of my head. Oh my god. You're a hard one to track down. Eyes all swollen, he peers up at you. Uh, yeah, that's, that's my design, as you, as you might have guessed. <laughs> Spits a tooth out. I have lost a lot because of you. But my goal is not just revenge. Who is your supervisor? I'm sure that is a, a question that you would like to know, huh? That's why I asked it. Well, you see, I work for a very dedicated group. You know who we are, don't you? Of course I do. Yeah, of course you do. You're, you're a smart boy. Wait, how, how old are you? TBD. Okay. <laughs> I haven't looked at the lifespan of Kyle. Oh, okay. Yeah. So pro- I would say I'm uh, y- younger than middle age. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. How old do you think I am? <laughs> <laughs> How old do I look? Really that old? <laughs> Hurtful. Do I need to ID you when you're uh, getting alcohol? Now, if I provide any more information, Perhaps you uh, let me go on my way. Now you know, change my ways eventually. <laughs> How sincere! <laughs> <laughs> I think I will. <laughs> he's so compelling. <laughs> um, he's gonna roll a deception and be like, "That sounds amenable." All right. Hmm. Just shake the dice as long as possible. Yep. Just keep going. Hey, that's not a bad method. Thirty-four. Oh damn! Eh? So that would <laughs> that be against his perception DC, right. I believe. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, hold on. If you crit succeed, crit succeed, what happens? Uh, he tells me everything he knows. <laughs> he tells me yeah. Everything he knows. Uh, That's how it works. He changes his ways. <laughs> All right. So this goes against his will DC. Uh, no perception DC. Per- perception DC. Sorry. So uh, he's trying to perceive. All right. So his perception is a plus fourteen. So it should be 24. So, yeah, what'd you get total? I crit succeeded. You crit succeeded. You know, you, you, you religious types are, are always very honest. So I, I, I appreciate working with you all, even if it doesn't seem to turn out well for you in the end. You did help me in my endeavors, so. Now, I come on a personal mission, actually, from a fierce woman by the name of Laslin. Are you aware of who she is? Of course I know Laslin. It's not knowing Laslin that is the question, but knowing where. Well, she is a vicious knoll woman that is extremely elusive, so I'm not surprised that you've had, tr- had, had trouble finding this hyena woman. But well, listen here. She's more interested in learning about Alceta's ring. Uh, she's been trying to set up extensive operations all over. But unfortunately, I came here to gather information about that. It seems that your friends, are you uh, acquaintances, acquaintance or associated with those gentlemen out there? That's none of your concern. Oh, here I thought we were on trusting. Uh, 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 uh. I just met him. Oh, I see. Well, with learning more information, was, we were hoping to set up some more things. Laslin had a grand idea. She was working with Vaz Lorraine, if you have heard of her, but unfortunately she previously perished. Yes, I had heard that. She was my first lead. But when I arrived, I was too late. Now, I've given you plenty of information, I believe. You know Laslin. You know where she is, I assume. Wait, did you actually tell me that? I wasn't, I didn't write that part down. Oh, see, (laughs) I assumed that you knew so much, I did not know what else to give you. Now, 
We did talk about the fact that Laslin is a vicious no slaver. But did you know that many of her works come out of He's like waiting for you to say something. Uh he's gonna he's gonna roll another deception okay, right. to see if he can like start a syllable right, right. and then like kinda say it at the same time. This worked so well when I did it. <laughs> Rocks. 36. 36. He goes, uh, you start with S- And he's he's like, that's right, Sunset, sunset Imports. Sunset Imports. That's right. You know, she loves working out of Kintargo, but it's one of them things where things just ain't working out there, but don't worry, we're trying to get it back. <laughs> that's his thing. <laughs> I think he makes that face too, you know. <laughs> Smiles at him. If you're speaking of Kintargo, then. I'm sure you know about the Scarlet Briar. Oh, I've heard that name before. But I believe that we have become friends enough that you are willing to let me go. Look to you, puppy dog eyes. <laughs> I'll give you my secret 11 herbs and spices. <laughs> Wait, deal. <laughs> uh, did I say that exactly? I think what I meant was, I'll let you go. Into the hands of this Benson Black. You know he wears the cape and it is his jurisdiction. You you are you're a downright despicable man, do you know that? <laughs> oh I'm well aware. If you, I were not medical, I would slap you with my white glove. <laughs> you don't get this far telling the truth. I hate to tell that you and I are much more alike than you would care to understand. Sometimes you have to become what you hate. To take it down. We almost had. Oh, you and I could have done some work, I tell you. You and I could have done so much, we could have been swimming in gold, but no. No, you would take this right in life, didn't you? I tell think, me. I think in another life, perhaps. But you made an enemy of, enemy of me a long time ago. Tell me one more thing. You don't even have, Yeah, I don't even care if you tell the truth. No one's heard of him before. Tell me, do you know of my brother? Uh, and what might your uh, brother's name be? I have known quite a, quite a many names in my time. I will see if I can rekindle some of the spark. Well, many years ago he was conscripted into your service. I don't know if he gave a fake name or not, but at that time he went by the name of I didn't give him a name yet. <laughs> God damn it, Tim. Damn it, Tim. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Jerry. Rimshaw. Jerry. <laughs> no, not Rimshaw. <laughs> All right. Uh, Breaks scrim- for Tim to make a name. <laughs> oh, no. Scrimshaw is kind of good, too. Scrimshaw is good. Hey, I like that. Scrimshaw. Scrimshaw. Hey, Scrimshaw. Scrimshaw. Scrimshaw is He's what... a twin brother now. Okay, so... I, I was so we say, have two uh, sets of twins now. Two sets? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you want, you want to go with Scrimshaw? Yeah. Okay. He so, doesn't have to be a twin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do, uh, do you know what? Do you know what? Uh, what? What a scrimshaw is? Yeah. Do you know what scrimshawing is? <laughs> no. Is yeah. where, so scrimshawing is where uh, is where uh, you you carve out like intricate designs in like woodwork or bone. Uh, uh, pirates would do it all the time uh, on, on their stuff. So on like whaling ships, they would use like whale bones and yeah, do that. Yeah. You see, where I come from, the kind of life and environment I grew up in, we weren't, uh, we didn't, we didn't. We weren't given names by parental units. That sounds really weird when I say it that way. <laughs> yeah, it does. I never, I didn't know my parents, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so we were given names. I don't know if you know of the roots of my name. My name is Grimshaw. It means dark woods. It's where I resided. It's where I liked. His name was Grimshaw. No. Because he liked etching things under things. <laughs> it was a hobby. He was going to turn it into a whole business plan, but then, um, you know, the kidnapping and stuff. Well, you're really good at making things up on the fly, I see. <laughs> I've, I've actually told you the truth now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, my word, you are an, an honest man. I, I'm not, but this is, this is one thing, it's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> this one thing. Well, but that was a very honest thing to admit. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm telling you the truth. Seriously. <laughs> In our group, it's going to be one champion always lies and the other one always tells the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the dark brooding one or the, or the one with the. Guess the other dark one. brooding one. <laughs> 
No, he 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 just uh, he just uh, you. He just kind of stares at you for a second, realizing he's been had by all this, and he's just like, "Fine, I've heard of the the Black family, and uh, I I know what they do. You know what? I think I might be able to talk him out of it. I got a good feeling that this is not particularly his purview. I've 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 heard of his his things. How do you know? You know? Oh, he normally goes after blasphemers. Is that right? Is that right? Yes, I guess I'm guessing you're referring to his most infamous escapade at a corrupted church of Iomade. <laughs> this isn't like a national thing. <laughs> it's national. not national. I got close to eyes, all right? <laughs> national event Benson slaughters <laughs> massacre at the church. Uh, that and him, him and his underworld knowledge, he, he would have he yeah, heard, heard about that kind of thing. So. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. Uh, he goes, that's right. Why don't we both get some sleep and we'll uh, talk more in the morning? You'll be the only one sleeping tonight. I, uh, I, I don't trust you. <laughs> I'm quite literally tied up, my friend. You may, you may take your rest as you see fit. You can knock him out again. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Open the door, knock his ass out, close the door, lock it. <laughs> and then he just wakes up in an hour. Right. And... <laughs> uh, all right. So he. Uh, he just stays up for a little bit longer. You can see you can see him like trying to like adjust. Uh, Do you have any requests for a last meal? Hmm. My family has this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't oh eat him. no! Don't eat him. <laughs> what did you ask him? If he, if he wanted a last meal. He was about to go with the KFC bit. I really, my family really loves eating uh, cell keys. <laughs> you know what? If you could just find me very, very, very thin pieces of metal, you know, I, I just like eating them. Don't, don't, don't worry about them. Don't worry about the purpose. You don't even have to deep fry them. Do you have a preference in material? <laughs> <laughs> oh, regular hands all fine. Right? Regular hands. My family has this <laughs> chicken recipe in which we cook it in oil and bread and God. <laughs> and so many specific... herbs and spices, I can't even count. <laughs> well, we can't recreate it unless you let me know what these spices are. <laughs> I guess I'll never get my last meal and he falls asleep. <laughs> you, think, oh, you think the Scarlet Triad's my biggest thing? <laughs> my grandmama finds out I gave that to you, my God. <laughs> She will kill me. <laughs> She's at least a 15th level wizard. <laughs> she will travel to the boneyard and kill me again. And kill me again. <laughs> I won't even make it to Perez. <laughs> my grandmother was a, was a night hag. <laughs> <laughs> she will steal my soul. Literally. Steal my soul. <laughs> put it inside. And put it inside the chicken. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the flavor comes from. God, we, we've made an empire of soul flavored chicken. Yep. Um, so. Wait. Yep. Would it be called... Soul food. That, that, that was the joke I was going for, Tim. Thank you for explaining it to everybody. Good job. <laughs> Anywho, Hubert is uh, asleep, uh, very uncomfortably. Uh, you stay up to the night, Grimshaw. Yeah. All right. Um, Kezra, you you were preparing stuff. Benson, you were standing uh, standing up. Staying a vigil. Yes, yeah. staying a vigil. Uh, oh, good. Uh, he is just currently in the woods right now. Like he just needs time and it's kind of something that like it reminds him of the Molongi at this mm. point like it's kind of not as uh, let's see dangerous mm. as Molongi so there's not expecting like a 15 foot dinosaur to just suddenly appear but, yeah but he's also kind of distracted by the death of uh like with Adelar it was kind of something like he found him annoying at times because he was really lawful fair. and annoying. Fair. And annoying. Fair. And annoying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no, that again? No, I mentioned annoying. But, uh, <laughs> no, but, like, there was, like, a couple things that he, like, find, like, Adelar, like, did teach him, like, Elvish and stuff, and he did have, like, a hard to talk to him in mm-hmm. Milwaukee and stuff. And it was just kind of, like, kind of like the process of if he wasn't expecting it to hit him that badly. Yeah. And he just needs time alone, but... The woods is like kind of feeling more comfortable than yeah. being inside the yeah. building, yeah. but ultimately he's wondering where the hell Vimir went because, I mean, I said Vimir was left at the Citadel in the beginning of the fight, but when he got back, there's no sign. So, hmm. he's just kind of like in the woods and just kind of making a little base camp 
for himself because he has the survival skills for it. I mean, got a level nine <laughs> ranger. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, he's just like setting up this like little mini fortress mm-hmm. and getting rest underneath the stars, especially like holding the star knife to him, like the eclipse. Yeah, the uh, like hugging the, it to himself. Yeah, I mean the way with the the, the night sky sh- and shining. Sh- uh, uh, or the moon sh- shining down, and the the night sky sort of just like illuminating it. It just it just sort of uh, it lulls you in, into a he, not, not sleep, but you feel that cause of that level of like peace. So he the actually camp. activates the one action command and makes it glow like the starlit night sky as well. Okay. So, wow! So it makes like a cool like effect mm. against the trees. Yeah, and the, uh, the 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 nature just seems to uh be very much alive tonight um as mm-hmm. you're as you're out there and the, the the sort of um dreamy uh the power of dreams that sort of like seeps out so like all the all the all the daytime creatures are obviously sleeping very well mm-hmm. and the nocturnal creatures they they, they feel uh, much more at peace um yeah. with the uh, presence of desna out there yeah but he's just trying to get some rest at this point um, so you get some rest and heal. And heal. <laughs> I mean, yes. Well, actually, uh, he does have a skill. I forgot. I took this at a long oh. time ago. Oh, okay. Um, but I never used it. Uh, let's see. What is the skill called? Um, because he does have nature as a skill. Um, that it was duh, 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 natural medicine. That he can use his nature skill in order to heal. And since he's in the wilderness, that he gets a plus two to the check. Oh, nice. So, okay. I guess I think he just needs to be to twenty. Uh, yeah, so maybe I'll get. Wait, that. what's your survival skill? <laughs> it, it, it follows the same rules as tree wounds. So fifteen. Yeah. Oh, okay, is yeah. It's easy fifteen, DC twenty yeah. if you're expert. So twenty four. Twenty four. Oh yes. So it's so a D eight. Yeah. I don't know how this works. I don't heal. <laughs> I, I, I yeah. I don't know where the healer you can, went. You can do long term care, and I think you just automatically yeah. double it. Yep. Like you can do this throughout the night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, like he's just finding different things and just yeah. applying it to himself. And... All right, yeah. The, the, you you patch yourself up. You t- take some of the um, uh, say some of the the local uh, local fauna and flora or flora, uh, yeah. mm-hmm. and you you uh, make a nice uh, medicated wrap. Yeah. Let's Put it over your eye. I but, yeah, the, the eye. Yeah. The eye really hurts. Yeah. It's so just it's, some cucumbers. Yeah, the, cucumbers. <laughs> cucumbers. As we approach morning, does a left return? Uh, he's not. Okay, so as morning approach as morning approaches, Kezra's like exhausted, but he goes and he finds Benson. He's Ben, Benson. Yeah, LF has not returned yet, but I think it's time we deal with the prisoner. Could you meet me in the courtyard? I'm going to go fetch him. Yeah, and um, he pulls the cloak off of Adelar. It's being the night passed, puts it on his own person, and then just finds a random cloth to place over his face. So Kezra heads to the cells. Grimshaw's in there. Mm-hmm. And uh, he kind of stirs and, ho- and probably wakes up Hugh Rick. Grimshaw, it's time we take the prisoner to the authorities. Understood. I, um... I gave him my word that I would not harm him in any way, so he's all yours. Kezra opens the cell. He wakes up. Get up. We're taking you, we're taking you to the authorities. <sighs> he stands up. You unlock it and walk him out. We walk him, I walk him into the courtyard, and there's just a stone in the middle of the courtyard. Mm-hmm. He walks him up to, to it. Benson... What is the sentence for murderers and slavers under the code of House Black? As he pulls out his shifting sword, kicks his knees down, pushes him over the the stone. Uh, now, I don't remember there being a trial yet, so if we're getting right to this, then I, 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 this does not seem very fair. You've already confessed your crimes. Uh, but I have not confessed to redeeming myself yet, now have I? If you would give me an opportunity. And what would you do to redeem yourself? Now, I know of the many gods out there, the one that you worship in particular. It's, uh, I know Medea, correct? I, you know, I generally like her. You know, she's a very strong, capable woman, uh, 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 dedicated to her craft and, uh, and, and uh, all, all the things that she professes. Uh, could you perhaps teach me about her? 
I wouldn't pray to Iom a day if I were you. I would start praying to Abadar. <laughs> Does he say anything? He's just he's just in shock, and he's like, "No, but uh, but but listen, I, I I'm asking for the uh, a, a second chance. You had to give me that, right?" I am Benson of House Black, wearer of the cloak, speaker of Iomade, and friend to a man you killed. May the gods have mercy on your soul. And he cuts it off. Mm. Yes. <laughs> and his head rolls. And he, you can see his face looking at you. His decapitated head staring directly at you and just with shock. And uh, uh, not many people know this, but you, apparently you're still conscious for a good minute after yeah. your head has been yep. Yep. removed. Gross. Yep. Yep. And a content warnings for this episode? <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> His head's just staring at you, just in shock. Kezra stands up, leaves the body, and he just goes, and he continues to wait for LF. Um, was Lionel around for this? Uh, Lionel, as uh, you know, uh, uh, is nursing a hangover, so. Mm. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Okay. What, t- what time <laughs> of the morning? You do? <laughs> yeah. What time of the morning would this been? Uh, uh, seven, eight a.m. Yeah, I think it's like yeah, it looks sunrise. First, first light. Yeah, because yeah, I feel like I feel like elk would be like arriving a little bit later, but he would have been hunting this morning. <laughs> like uh, he comes back with like a deer and just starts field dressing it and stuff like that, kind of ignoring kind of the whole thing that happened. Um, I look up in the courtyard. Do I see Pippin's Arf? Uh, yeah, they're they're. They're on top of the. Uh, they're on top of the citadel in one of the one of the towers up there. Do they do I the look. Thumbs down. <laughs> thumbs down. Benson just looks up, and he looks down at the this dead man. He goes, "Pip is off." Their their eyes are like just over like the citadel wall. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Burn the trash. He walks away. Damn. <laughs> Turn to each other like, this, "Is the trash the body?" <laughs> Well, I, I want a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can take the shirt. <laughs> you can take the shirt. <laughs> okay, this is a little morbid, but what did Adelar have on him when he died? <laughs> uh, no, that that is a great question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel bad. So if you guys, <laughs> those pockets, <laughs> if you guys are um, going like you know going through his possessions, preparing him, uh, you actually find a a sealed piece of paper. Um, with the the wax is a wax seal and it's the symbol of Abadar and uh, it says to Benson of House Black Elkwood Grimm Kezra Derajan and Aleph Vaynor well I'm not just going to open it now I'm going to wait <laughs> Well, I'm all by myself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is addressed to you. Yeah, you know. that's true. <laughs> Technically, I, I opened it for the group. <laughs> okay, so Benson will open it then. Okay, so you break, uh, you break the wax seal, um, and fireball goes off. <laughs> and a fireball, no, and a you do see some magic dissipate. Um, you get the feeling that if you are not mm. one of these people, something very bad would have happened. Clean. I like it. It's um, a good thing the kobolds didn't go through your shit. <laughs> <laughs> they would have been dead. <laughs> <laughs> we're executing. We're executing a, a Hubert and the the thing is here. Boom! What's this? <laughs> An explosion in the other <laughs> house. So he's anyway. a running in with a bucket of water. Oh my god! <laughs> so what? What does this letter say? Um, it says to my dear friends. If you are reading this, then it seems I have come to some untimely demise. After my many close scrapes in the Mwangi, I thought it best to come up with a formal last will. I always thought that if I died in the Mwangi that I would just become one with the Mwangi and you would take my stuff, but... 
Now that we're back in Breach Hill, I think it is a good thing to put my things in order. The Sorrow Maker watches us at every turn, and I have no doubt that he will be the death of me, and not some ridiculous simple trap. <laughs> Anyways, to Benson. I know we had our differences, but I know that we were of the same purpose. You wanted the same things as I did. You wanted to see this to completion. So to you I leave my holy prayer beads. Hold them tight. Mm -hmm during your morning rituals I find great comfort in artifacts of the gods I know some people's connections are different but you have a a, a liking of artifacts of the gods yourself do you already have healer's gloves? okay Yes, he does. I don't leave you the healer's gloves. <laughs> you wear Bastard! Double the healing gloves. <laughs> double If I the put them gloves. on my feet. But if I, <laughs> no, if I put two pairs on, I can get stuff out of the oven. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he uses one of those uh, heat mats. Uh, humor, because we're sad. Uh, you don't, um, if I remember correctly, you don't have any um, passive resistance to fire, do you? No. Okay. Well, he does. Oh, wait, no. It, what yeah, does now I, because of the necklace. Shield me. <laughs> right, because of the necklace. Man, all the things I was going to give you, I, uh, I can't give you anymore. Uh, Benson just gets it. I'll leave this. <laughs> I mean, uh, Elk would probably get it. Oh, yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, I'm here. I, I'm, I'm back. I'm just... Uh, I also bequeath to you several elixirs and potions that I did not have a need for. I leave you this impressive antidote. From what I understand, it can heal many afflictions. A couple anti-plagues, a bottled lightning, and a drag heart mutagen. <laughs> yes, sure. I am listing all these out specifically because I know there will be some discussion <laughs> on who gets what. He's, he's writing in the sidebars. Yeah. <laughs> so please see the appendix. <laughs> Wait, this is notarized. <laughs> How Wait, did he notarize You can notarize really? things yourself. What the fuck? <laughs> you should know that. Legal <laughs> notary of uh, Breach Out. It's like, no, Kezra, you don't get this. <laughs> Benson gets this. <laughs> And lastly, I leave to you this elixir of a life. May it breathe life into someone else. I, um... I hope you will carry on and complete the quest. Not just for my memory, but for the sake of those that are oppressed. Um, I guess Benson probably will not read what was not meant for him. If okay. that was, was that everything? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Um. So he's just. Kez, is Kezra still in the building? He's around. So I'm going to find you. Okay. Hand you the letter. Um. Are you still waiting for a left? I feel it's. I feel it's not right to begin the. Begin the ceremony without him. Well, then we're going, to go have, we're going to have to go find him, because if I had to guess from what Adelar told me before, he's probably getting shit-faced. Mm. All right. Oh, gosh. You might be right. Let's go find him. It's the least we, literally the least we can do for Adelar. Wait, do you want to read this letter, Kestra? Yeah, I'll read it on the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. By we the grab way. elk, too. Yeah. <laughs> Adelar's body's like, wait, read the read, read. <laughs> Wait, what? Um, he's alive! He's alive! <laughs> he's, alive. Uh, he's, he's not fully dead. <laughs> <laughs> Just slices that off. <laughs> Tim, Tim is, <laughs> the look on Tim's face right there was faceless. <laughs> the undead! You shocking grass, bring <laughs> back. As we're rounding up the horses, uh, Kezra sees Grimshaw. You're welcome to stay if you would like or come. Doesn't matter to me. We're, we're going to go look for his father. I still want to talk about the Scarlet Triad when we're all finished, but forgive us, we do have matters to take care of before we continue that. 
Yes, of course. If it's all right with you, I will lay low and rest. Last night was quite taxing. Mm. All right. Feel free to stay. We'll come to you when we're ready. Real quick, did Grim... Um, was he at the execution? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. What was what were you kind of looking like? How are you feeling about that? Um, I think he was uh, pretty stoic. Um, nothing that happened like took him by surprise. Uh, he knew you were he, like he knows of your exploits. He knew you'd you'd kill him. So okay, I'll stop stalling. So yeah, you're good. <laughs> right. Yeah, so we uh, you can read we, you can read off what uh what you give to Kezra and Elk. <laughs> sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, Elk. To Elk Woodgrim. I... I see a lot of turmoil within you. You seem to follow the tenets of one, but you blaze your own path. I... I never quite found the right words to say to you, but I'm sorry. Sorry that I I didn't do more for Skult. I, that is a, a regret that I will surely take to my grave. He was the goodest doggo, <laughs> and he always will be. Mm. But I hope that for me it will bring you some sort of comfort I hope that your internal wounds can heal as I have been able to heal your external wounds I know you will find your path there are those that want to tell you what that path is they want to steer you in one direction or another but don't listen to them They are distractions of your true purpose. You were brought to us for a reason. Never forget that. As um, you may know, I have no need for this, this treasure anymore. So please, accept. Accept these gifts. I give to you the hand of the mage. Mm. I was originally going to give it to Benson, but it seems that the latent magic in his bloodline has awakened, so he has no need of it. And Kezra, I, he's Kezra. He wouldn't <laughs> use it. Who? <laughs> he had a mage. Yeah. <laughs> I also bequeath to you healer's gloves. <laughs> yeah, boy. It draws an arrow from the top down. Yeah. The next paragraph. Hell yeah. <laughs> now, when you bitch about needing healing, you're going to do something yourself. <laughs> yes. Annoying bitch. <laughs> ah, I feel better now. <laughs> Fucking annoying DPS. Damn it. Always bugging the healers. I also give you uh, this ring. Benson has no need of it, nor does Kezra. This will give you some protection against the fires of Dahak. I don't have resistance to fire. <laughs> you got Kezra spell. can cast spells. <laughs> he doesn't if need he, it. If he says anything, remind him of that. Yeah. <laughs> you can cast a resistance energy fire. Doesn't mean, it, doesn't mean I don't want it. <laughs> and finally, I leave you... What was that ring called, anyway? Ring of Energy Resistance Dash Fire. Okay. Level 6 item. Get 5. Yep. It, it should be the base. Yeah. Uh, the, or the lowest level one. And finally, mm-hmm. I give you... Uh, I would say this is the the tool that I found most useful in our travels. We stumbled upon it. This is the Traveler's Any Tool. Oh, yes. I know you will put it to good use. Yay. No one else sees its potential, but I know, I know that every time that I used it... Oh, you were watching. <laughs> I was. Every time. <laughs> Every time you poop in the woods, you can use it as a trowel. Yes, I can. <laughs> Let's see. What, what was that? A actual magical item? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Traveler's yeah. any Traveler's tool. Traveler's any tool, yeah. yeah just... Item level six. Oh, there you go. Mm-hmm. Helm two hands. Once activated. Blah, blah. Yep. Become any tool. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. it's 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 incredible. So if you became, made it become like a mall, could you use that as a weapon? Can't, uh, it can't, can't become do a weapon. Can't do yeah, weapon. Can't do yes. weapon. Yeah, any mundane. That's what a shifting tool. rune is for. Yeah, yeah. Any <laughs> mundane tool, so you can turn it from anything into a pick, like to actually mine, or a spoon to eat your cereal. Yep. So. Yeah, but what if I need a big ass hammer? <laughs> yeah, just make sure that you have a shifting rune. <laughs> you, you can use it to turn it into a hammer, but you can't hit people with it. Yeah, no. <laughs> it just it just turns back yeah, into the rock. Every time you try to swing, it turns into a feather duster. God damn it! <laughs> Beautiful. I'll just kind of take some slides of the ring on. Wait, still an invest. <laughs> I don't feel anything. <laughs> I don't feel anything. It broke and goes away. Slips the ring on, tries to light himself on fire. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. When does it start working? My dear Kesra, we've been through a lot, haven't we? We faced death too many times to count. And you double that. I was always there to patch you up, pick you up and try to nudge you in the right direction, but I have failed you. Not long ago, I had an encounter with little Kezra. I thought he was just some sort of pet. But when I gazed into its eyes, I saw the energy the feeling of a being of immense power. I don't know who you serve, Kesra Devishan, but I can assure you that once they are done with you, you will be discarded. My final, (laughs) my last warning, I suppose. I will miss you greatly, my dear friend. Our fireside chats your antics, <laughs> your raw <wry> humor. <sighs> There's literally the word sigh. <laughs> <laughs> Italicized. Yeah. Italicized. <laughs> Oof. He was never the greatest at writing prose. <laughs> much, much better at uh, legal documentation. <laughs> I was working on a couple screenplays. <laughs> a creative writer he was not. <laughs> But I wish you the best on your quest of glory and power. I just hope that you use it for good. You, uh, as you, uh you, I know you peeked at the the appendix of the the demarcations of treasure. So <laughs> as you know, there is there is not much that I leave to you. I leave to you the scroll of remove disease because you're the only one who can use it, and a couple salves of anti paralysis because. You're probably be the only one who could use them because everyone else is getting themselves into trouble. But now for the thing that you are most concerned about, <laughs> and on some uh, a field we we shared much in, I bequeath to you half of my gold, mm. six hundred and forty-six pieces of gold, seven pieces of silver, and six copper. The other 645 pieces of gold, 7 silver, and 6 copper, I I put you in this type uh, type of stewardship, and you will put that money to good use for my father. I do not know what state he will be in uh, after my passing, but I fear that if I just gave him the bulk sum soon after, he would not make good use of it. Please remind him that I forgive him and that I want him to lead a long and happy life and um yeah never mind he just says dot 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 never mind (laughs) (laughs) but uh please please look after him to the best of your ability thank you Kezra goodbye Kezra just folds up the, the letter, shoves it into the bag of holding. It's like, let's find that man. I want to emphasize the scene here as you guys are on your horses walking back to Breach Hill, and Ayala's body is 
laying there. Um, a lot of things are just uh, settling in. It's very, very quiet. Um, the goblins are out hunting. Uh, the kobolds are actually giving some respect. And the camera just sort of pans up as the sun continues to rise. And scene transitions to a prison. As we see Adelar's father vomiting into a bucket, screaming at the top of his lungs in in in, in between each wretch. He was a hero to you all. Ugh. And he died protecting you. Uh. I'll see you guys next time. Mm. What's going on, everybody? This is Timmy from the Dragon Punch Squad podcast. You may also know me as the voice of Adelar Vaynor, cleric of Avatar. You might not know, but we are all over the internet. We have a Twitter, at Dragon Punch Pod, Facebook, Dragon Punch Squad Pod, and Instagram, Dragon Punch Squad. If you want to join our fantastic Discord, full of great people, supportive, Budding GMs, players, got discourse. Add us on Twitter for an invite link, and we'll be sure to get you in. Also, speaking of our Twitter, we have a link tree that links to all of our links to, you know, the Facebook, the Instagram, everything. Oh, yeah. And did you know we have merch? DragonPunchSquadMerch.com. We got anything you could ever want. We got hats. We got shirts we got mugs you want it it's there also if you, there's something that you want that's not there just shout us out we could probably get it in the shop and finally be sure to spread the goodness of the dps to your friends and family word of mouth also leave us a five-star review on the podcasting app that you use that helps us a ton for discovery so that other people can hear the dragon punch squad podcast all right that's enough of that keep punching punchers